hypogonadism affects an estimated 4 to 5 million men in the United States, and although it may occur in men at any age, low testosterone levels are especially common in older males. More than 60% of men over age 65 have free testosterone levels below the normal values of men aged 30 to 35. Studies suggest that gonadism in adult men is often underdiagnosed and undertreated. This may be because the symptoms are easily attributed to aging or other medical causes, or ignored by patients and physicians. In this video, we will talk about this disease, male hypogonadism, by answering these questions. What is male hypogonadism? What are the stages of male hypogonadism? What causes male hypogonadism? Symptoms of male hypogonadism? How is it treated? What is male hypogonadism? Male hypogonadism is a condition in which the body does not produce enough of the testosterone hormone, the hormone that plays a key role in masculine growth and development during puberty. You can be born with male hypogonadism, or it can develop later in life, often from injury or infection. Other names for low testosterone and male hypogonadism include testosterone deficiency syndrome testosterone deficiency primary hypogonadism secondary hypogonadism hypergonadotropic hypogonadism hypogonadotropic hypogonadism there are two basic types of hypogonadism that exist primary this type of hypogonadism also known as primary testicular failure originates from a problem in the testicles secondary this type of hypogonadism indicates a problem in the hypothalamus or the pituitary gland parts of the brain that signal the testicles to produce testosterone. The hypothalamus produces the gonadotropin-releasing hormone, which signals the pituitary gland to make the follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH, and luteinizing hormone. The luteinizing hormone then signals the testes to produce testosterone. Either type of hypogonadism may be caused by an inherited, congenital, trait or something happens later in life, acquired such as an injury or an infection. What causes male hypogonadism? Congenital conditions that affect your testicles and can lead to primary hypogonadism include absence of testicles at birth, anarchia, undescended testicles, cryptorchidism, Leydig cell hypoplasia, underdevelopment of Leydig cells in your testicles, Klinefelter syndrome, a genetic condition in which PMAB are born with an extra X chromosome, XXY instead of XY, Noonan syndrome, a rare genetic condition, that can cause delayed puberty, undescended testicles or infertility, myotonic dystrophy, part of a group of inherited disorders called muscular dystrophy. Acquired conditions that affect your testicles and can lead to primary hypogonadism include testicle injury or removal, or chitis, which is inflammation of one or both testicles. This is most often the result of a bacterial infection, such as a sexually transmitted infection, but it can be due to viral infections such as mumps, chemotherapy or radiant therapy to your testicles, certain types of tumors, anabolic steroid use. Congenital conditions that can lead to secondary hypogonadism include isolated hypogonadotropic hypogonadism, a condition that causes low levels of gonadotropin-releasing hormone from birth, Kalman syndrome, a rare genetic condition that causes loss of the development of nerve cells in your hypothalamus that produce gonadotropin-releasing hormone can also cause a lack of smell. perter willi syndrome, a rare genetic multisystem disorder that can cause hypothalamus dysfunction. Acquired conditions that can lead to secondary hypogonadism include hypopituitarism. This condition may result from an adenoma, infiltrative disease, infection, injury, radiation therapy or surgery that affects your pituitary gland, hyperprolactinemia iron overload, hemochromatosis, brain or head injury, Cushing syndrome, cirrhosis of the liver, kidney failure, HIV, AIDS, alcohol use disorder, poorly managed diabetes, obesity, obstructive sleep apnea, certain medications, including estrogens, psychoactive drugs, metoclopramide, opioids, luprolide, gozerlin, triptorlin and neurogen biosynthesis inhibitors for prostate cancer. Symptoms of male hypogonadism Low testosterone, or male hypogonadism, is associated with a number of signs and symptoms, most notably, loss of libido and erectile dysfunction, ED. Other signs of low testosterone include depressive symptoms, a decrease in cognitive abilities, irritability and lethargy or loss of energy.
deficient indigenous testosterone also has negative effects on bone mass and is a significant risk factor for osteoporosis in men. Progressive decrease in muscle mass and muscle strength and testicular dysfunction, often resulting in impaired sperm production, are also associated with low testosterone levels. How's it treated? Testosterone replacement can raise testosterone levels and help ease the symptoms of male hypogonadism. Male hypogonadism treatment options include testosterone replacement therapy. Oral testosterone isn't often used for treatment of hypogonadism due to potential serious liver problems. And it doesn't keep testosterone levels even. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration has approved one oral testosterone replacement, testosterone endocannote, detenso. Plando, Kisitrax. The lymph system absorbs it, so it might not cause the liver problems seen with other oral forms of testosterone. It's not used to treat hypogonadism caused by age. Shot. Testosterone cypionate, depotestosterone, and testosterone inanthate, zyostid, are given in a muscle or under the skin. Symptoms might vary between doses depending on how often you get the shot. Patch. A patch containing testosterone is put on an arm or the torso each night. Possible side effects are mild or severe skin problems. Gum and cheek, also called bull cavity, small and puddle-like. Gum and cheek testosterone replacement sends testosterone through the area above the top teeth, where the gum meets the upper lip, called the bull cap nasal. This testosterone gel, Natesto, can be pumped into the nostrils. This option reduces the risk that medicine will get on someone else through skin contact. This type of testosterone is put into each nostril three times a day. This might make it less easy to use than other methods. Pellets put under the skin, called implants. Testosterone containing pellet testable are surgically put under the skin every three to six months. Treatment of delayed puberty in boys depends on the cause. Three to six months of testosterone shots can help start puberty. The testosterone can help increase muscle mass, beard and pubic hair growth, and growth of the penis. This treatment is given only if the bones have matured enough. Lifestyle habits that may help keep testosterone levels normal include eating a healthy diet, exercise, weight management, avoiding excessive use of alcohol and drugs, Thank you for listening to all the information we want to introduce to you in this video. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe for the He Info channel.